What's up, everybody? This is SymphoniaFan64 here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls. In the last part, we finished up the Secret Dungeon side quest and defeated the final boss in the Whispering Cove, which was Death Gaze from Final Fantasy VI. So in this part, we are going back to the main plot of the story and tackling the final dungeon of the game. Yes, this is the final dungeon. Just to think of it, folks, we are almost done with this Let's Play. Just a few more parts, and we're done. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's go. And as you can see, I took the liberties of getting to the Chaos Shrine, because this is where you need to go. You need to go to the Chaos Shrine. And in order for this to work, you need to have relit all the crystals. And if, and if you can remember from back when we were in the Flying Fortress, that little mirror we looked through, and how all the powers were uh, centering to one point on the map, which was the Chaos Shrine, well, the reason why for that is, is yes, this little black orb, this orb that we didn't even talk about, I didn't even talk about in uh, the part where I faced Garland, uh, this part, um, this orb, uh, when you talk to it, the first time it just says it's just a shimmering glowing orb, but now that we talk to it, yes, we all nod in unison because now it is time, it is timed. You focus the light of the four shining crystals, fire, earth, water, and wind, on the black crystal. The flow of time surges and space begins to warp. Just one step forward, and you will travel back 2,000 years in time, back when the pyramids were still young. Um, Egyptian kings played a game of great and terrible power. But now... Uh, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna even do that. A century gamer already made that reference. Not gonna do it in my let's play. Sorry. And it lifts up. But I will make this reference. Yep. It is now time. I will make this reference though. Just step onto this after that little cutscene. And. Great Scott, Marty! We're back. We travel back 2,000 years into the past! <laughs> I had to do that one. Uh, yes. We are in the Chaos Shrine back 2,000 years ago. So, here we'll be tackling on some very strong enemies, but we've already encountered them. So, I'll be showing you where you need to go. So, let's continue. So, let's go this way. And then let's go this way. Go down here. Oh, I think we've come across a new enemy type. The Dark Biter. These guys are the polar opposites of the Dark Wizards in which they have very high attack. So they're very deadly and should be... And should be... Not taken too lightly. If your stats are not high enough, which mine are. What am I doing? I have flare. See, look at that damage. I am a god! And the reason why I cast Null Blaze back there is because those guys love to cast Fyraga. Just got another death break. Oh uh, yes, I should mention that though. Uh, I got the Deathbringer from one of the Black Knights. They drop those, and it's a sword that casts death when used. Pretty good sword. I think I may have done that already. And we come across another enemy, the Death Eye. And yes, you will encounter this guy every time you step on that certain spot. Uh, the Death Eye is a little bit of a stronger version than the Evil Eye. So... 
but easily dispatchable. See? But I tell ya. And I only got one? One experience and one gill. What bullshit is that? Some serious bullshit. Then we got a dry ether. And after that battle, Joel, Felicia, and Logan grew to level 71. And I'm trailing behind. Also got another Deathbringer, so I'm probably gonna be loading up on those. Then I get an elixir from that. And now we come here and there's this stone tablet blocking the way. Now, you're probably wondering how you get past this. Well, if you recall, Princess Sarah gave us a loot. So, yeah. That now comes into play. I play the loot like a boss! So now we're down here, which is pretty much... Pretty much this floor is just a repeat of uh, what I just went through. And I got a nice shield from those, those enemies. Yeah, you'll encounter like different enemies, uh, depending on which floor you're on. So pretty much you won't encounter just one type of enemy in this dungeon. You'll encounter multiple types, which is perfect for a final dungeon. And now we're back to the first floor. And we come across a new enemy, the Purple Worms. Nothing special I can say about these guys, they're just worms and they're purple. Best description ever. And they're easily dispatchable. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I also grew to level 71 as well. So now we're all caught up. No, I bet probably all of you people are probably, uh, like I was trying to say, I bet probably all you people are probably going if I'm going to make a, uh, Time War er, song reference in this video. Well, I'm not. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to make a Time Warp song. Hung reference for this video somewhere. Not in this video. Because the game obviously objected to my uh, a opinion of not putting a uh, putting that into my video. So, there. I'll have to do it. Game objected. Alright, and after that battle, Felicia grew to level 72. Let's go down this way. And we're in the basement floor. Now, this is where things get very interesting because on this floor, we'll be encountering earth element and type monsters. Sorry, I can't speak today. We'll be encountering earth type enemies. So, I wonder why that is. Kind of peculiar that we would come into random monsters and now suddenly just earth types. Hmm. Odd. Well, anyway, continue on. Alright, and after that battle, Joel and Logan grew to level 72, so I'm back to lagging behind again. And after that battle, I grew to level 72, so we're all caught up again. I just did that for precaution's sake, so there's the uh, stairs. So let's go down them and. Uh, what? What? Lich? Lich is here? I'm in a boss fight? 
Yes, that is correct, ladies and gentlemen. We are going up against Lich. Uh, because in this dungeon, we will be encountering the four uh, elemental fiends again. But this time, they are a little bit stronger and have a new strategy. And last time, they are sometimes impervious to... They are not the same as they once were. So, a little strategy based for... Uh, Lich. Now, Lich is still undead, so he's still weak to fire and die. But he's a little bit stronger than when you encountered him in the Cavern of Earth. He also... Has the ability to cast Flare, so that's always nice. So... Strategy for defeating him. Again, undead type, fire Aga, and Diage up his ass. And then enhance your physical attackers. But seeming as I got the Ultima weapon and Joel's broken as fuck, <laughs> this is just gonna be pure rape. This is gonna be pure rape. Pure, unadulterated rape of this boss. I can find the frickin' Lightbringer. Oh, there it is. See, look at that. One turn kill! One turn kill! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so broken! Oh, trust me, if I came to this boss... It uh, trust me, if you guys are going up against this boss and you're not fully prepared, uh, be prepared for a long fight, but seeming as I went through the secret dungeons first... Holy hell. One turn kill. I freaking curb stomped him. And, of course, you don't get a lot of experience and not a lot of guilt for defeating them. Because, again, you're fighting them. Um, reborn. I, I don't know. I can't really speak today, but... um. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good spot to stop it off, so in the next part we'll be exploring deeper of the Chaos Shrine, or as I would like to call it, the Temple of Chaos. Or, yeah, the Temple of Chaos. So, that's it, so I will see you all in the next part. But until then, this is SymphonyaFan64, signing off. See you next time. Best curb stomp ever! <laughs> <laughs> there is no God. <laughs>